These politicians in Washington, D.C. couldn't take it anymore. They had to give up the charade. They had to stop the shenanigans. Now, normally these politicians in D.C. are masked up more than a trash panda in the middle of the night, but not no more. They done worn the face burka long enough. Uh, I know that by now every single person out there has seen enough of the State of the Union address the other night to know that not a single one of them in Washington, D.C. cares about masks. They never cared about masks. Masks were for you and not for them. Nancy even gave an interview about why she wasn't going to wear one. Hell, Nancy Pelosi's had so much face surgery done, she didn't even know if she was wearing a mask or not because she's made out of plastic. She never knew if the mask was sliding off her face. The surface of her epidermis is deader than John Wick's dog. Any more plastic surgery on Nancy Pelosi, and, and she's going to be the only congressperson in Washington, D.C. that's wearing a goatee. <laughs> Which makes about logical sense because they're all sheep. Look at Joe Byron. Uh, was three inches away from everybody's face with dementia so strong he's probably giving that away. Joe's contagious. I mean, don't I'm forget worrying about COVID. Don't let me catch Joe Biden. <laughs> now, the day before, he was seen walking across a field all by himself in a mask like a lost orangutan that escaped a zoo uh, and <laughs> refusing to answer any questions from the press about a nuclear Armageddon. It's a damn charade. He gave everybody, those masks gave everybody that sense of significance. Y'all literally sprained your elbows trying to pat yourselves on the back with your face diaper virtue signaling, make everybody know that you were saving the world and grandma. But there's Joe Nance and Cam, just big old naked faced in the congressional chambers, shining forth a big old F you to everybody that bowed down to their ideological bullshit. And where the hell was the leader of the lollipop guild, Anthony Fauci? Did they put him back in the box like the groundhog? Is he in the secret lair coming out with another concoction? I mean, just go ahead and admit it. You got played. You got played played. The science had to change because of the midterms and the polling numbers. Now, you might as well have listened to Dr. Frankenstein. Put some bolts right there. (laughs) I love you people. I do. I really freaking love you. But Lord, folks, COVID, yeah, it's a real thing. But so is fear and so is psychological manipulation and so is brainwashing. And since we've become a, 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 a society that elevates feelings over facts, You were made to feel safe whether you actually were or not. And you never were. It was still contagious. Same numbers. So stop defending your psychosis. Move on with your life. Look, it's not my life. It's not my problem. But I would like to give you permission for what it's worth to go out and breathe some unfettered oxygen. Once again, like the Washington, D.C. elites do every single day of their life. Thank you. That's all I got to say. I love you. God bless you. Watch chat.com. Here's a Facebook poke. Got played. Got played. Let's move on with life.